another tournament of champions games this time massimo versus radolf and uh breakers against uh scaper avians so yeah i'm just going to start the scaper avians start the game i'm going to try to come in more from uh breakers aside because that's the hand we see sadly uh, as i said it's very hard to comment again if i can see the hand so i'm going to just uh, comment mostly from uh, breaker side uh, I, I tend to play these two factions so i uh, i can understand them more than others i think uh this is a very aggressive up, a start for scaper avians and i think this is reasonable because uh, Takulu doesn't fight well melee where Ava does. So yeah, we, yeah, especially one of the most important units in this match is the Sentinel, which can be force. So that's very key. So bringing an alligate forward to bring those Sentinels up, it's going to be very important and actually it's hard for Takulu to deal with. There's just one damage on the Seer. And here, uh, Tekulu only has an Archer, doesn't have a Wine Mage, which is always bad to start. So it's actually interesting what to do here. I personally would summon the Wine Archer and try to get this tower, but I recognize that's a uh, questionable because uh, it's going to die. So you only going to get like one attack and that's it. And honestly, Archers are not very efficient on that, but I don't know, I just prefer to do that than nothing, but uh, maybe it's wrong. I will, uh, how to use the gate is another good question, which is, I think I will just put the gate here and try even to bring the DC. I mean, I, I will try to clock them, just not try to, to let them move forward because they, they can clock you very easily to escape avians. So I think that's what I will do. Uh, yeah, I think we'll do something like gate here then probably just the archer in this position and with the deceiver you can just uh, just make it not so easy to punish your archer like a deceiver here then if he wants to get through sure he needs to um, get the damage and if he needs to attack he needs to attack next to the deceiver so i i think that's where how i should go but it seems massimo decide something different um which is keep the range which is reasonable uh, just you want to keep the range just shift the side and let uh, Ava get that side you move to here um discard it <clears throat> very aggressively uh most of the cards which is you want magic and there is no wine mesh there this man which died i think he kept one card i'm not sure what it was uh not sure let, let's let, let's check what, what it was Oh, no, no, nothing, nothing. He played that the, the gate and then, yeah, the perfect reasonable. Um, now you have the wine mesh and the mind witch, which is a lot more reasonable. Mind witch in this matchup can copy uh, a couple of units. Uh, one of them is the stage, which helps you. It needs to be quite close, but it give, it allows you to to bump your wine mesh or other commons. That's not the best tools. However, with the steward, that's a lot different. Three uh, damage uh, or worthy is a lot better. I tend to do that. Um, you can also, in theory, copy the Sentinel, but actually that does nothing, so it's not very relevant. Um, and yeah, you can obviously copy the Wine Mage and all, all the normal stuff. But I, I think the best thing is try to copy Mind Witch. Uh, I think in theory you can. I, I don't think I have done it, but I think you can copy with one Mind Witch as Sage, and with the other, you will copy uh, Warty and get like four attack of Warty. That seems pretty cool. But this is one of the reasons I didn't like, like Takulu just coming uh, to the side. Is that I will really keep advancing and pushing you and you are in just no better position. You are just corner. It's true that you even have units to, to do something about, uh, to do something with. But uh, yeah, I mean, this, I was going to pressure like this. Uh, it doesn't have to fear so much your your assassinations because sentinels when, when the time comes can cover it very safely so yeah i think um now here uh, uh breakers need to use a lot of deceivers to clock them 
and try to use Mind Witch plus Marty to just do something. And I think this is a matchup that surprisingly I like Guldun quite a bit because you, you Abbot's going to force you into melee and Guldun is the king of melee. But yeah, I, I recognize that if it's on the initial hand, you probably have to discard it and need a plan B. So the ward is going to damage this, and now yeah, you need the sievers to, to clock. Oh, let's see how, how this goes. And now it gets the warty and the gate here to clock. Yeah, uh, very nice. This start. You need to start doing decent damage to Ava because I mean, ultimately the threat, the threat of the of the Kulu to advancing summoner is this that he has assassination tools, and you need to, to you need to take advantage of that. I think this is, was a very good movement. Um, yeah, try to get some damage in, and then Ava needs to be a lot more careful. Despite it can protect itself with Sentinels eventually, still, uh, especially if this close, you can the threat of mind control is uh, is very high. So now the breaker is just coming with a deceiver. The deceivers are pretty decent versus uh, the divers are pre pretty decent versus deceiver because you the one damage doesn't need to get through, but still not very efficient. Uh, in this case, it only was like one one life. So that's awesome. That's uh, the role they, they use. And now Sentinels come, which is a big problem. Great song here. I mean, it's going to get buff three units. That's not very common. But here is very, very good. And going to clean the whole war, which is very bad for Takulu. Now, Takulu is in a very precarious situation, I would say. Uh, quite a corner. A lot of material on the war, a lot of magic, and he doesn't have that much. A lot of these uh, cards are not going to be very useful. It's going to be very hard for the Kulu to do something about this. And the question remains, what's the best plan? I think even this situation, I will try to push personally for, um, for an assassination. Uh, try pressure maybe you don't advance the kulu uh, accept that um rather i mean even if you don't have my control at least force them to play around it um yeah it's risky but i think at this time you are losing the game right so you need to take risk uh mine which might be very powerful this turn but you can if you copy one steward with worthy and blitz you get both something very important uh yeah i think with blast would you have tempest if you have can even I don't know, I'm not going to try to solve this puzzle, but this turn is going to be very hard. Um, and I'm sure, um, well, I guess Massimo had a hard time deciding what to do here. I will have to. Uh, I won't get into that, but yeah, there are, there are many options. But uh, strategically, I will try to go for try to put more pressure on Ava, which I think you can uh, with all these cards. Uh, yeah, let's see what, what Massimo did here. I'm not the call, trying to get a steward. Pretty nice. Uh, copy, like I said. Uh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Probably Mime Witch is going to go here and Takulu push forward. I will totally support this. Yes, uh, just like I said. Just going for aggressive play. Just try to punish Ava. Uh, and yeah, I hope... Uh, I can check uh, the deck because it crashes. But um, tr let's try, get, uh, try to threat with a mind control. I mean, he can draw out with mind control. I think he didn't... It still has one in pile, yes. And yeah, I mean, Takulu has not attacked a lot of assassination tools, so this is actually a decent spot. I mean, probably Awa is going to retreat with gates and everything, but he already played two, so... I don't know. Uh, I think this this was a very, very good line. Uh, I really like it. I will play the Tempest. Uh, let's see if, if Massima decides for that, but... Um, I'm a little surprised that he didn't play the Wine Mage, because I just want to have it around, but I, I think it's reasonable. Or play Tempest, discard mine wearing Mish. At this point, you want all the magic you can and get the events. Uh, yeah, very interesting. And I think very good response by, by Massimo here. Uh, let's, oh, if he can capture that, this would be awesome. Yes, he captured. And he might get a kill here. True, but uh, see, this is perplexing Tempest. Perfect. Discard the wine Mish. Super agree with this. Uh, now. Yeah, it's going to use gates to protect, and now it's going to be kind of interesting because, I mean, you didn't get um, all the stuff you wanted. Uh, we'll see. Just, 
about hiding and just letting the let, 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 let's see the situation here um it has 21 magic against 17 so you're losing there you're losing the war but Ava is on one so that's important Tekulu if you go to the late game against Ava one and Tekulu I think you can fight from this position definitely the late game so I don't know if I if I would just go all in with um trying to kill Ava the problem is you don't have tools at this point you risk like imagine if he had like um well, he didn't have magic. Oh, yeah, he had magic for blast. You could, uh, let me think. Do you have a way to kill with blast? I think not. Yes, you had. You will blast the archer, and the archer will flip there. You have to kill there. So maybe you have some draws, maybe. I don't know. But you could win uh, on the spot, but uh, or have a good chance. But uh, he didn't draw the, the, the card, so let's move on and see what, what happened. What's the plan of Takulo? Okay, for threat, um, that's decent, I think. Um, the problem is there with this place, and now you can't you lose the chance to do blast. But I think you can slowly just threat this zone. The early gate only has three life, just capture the like this, and then just uh, try to. I mean, it's going to take a while, but I think you're playing more economically when you do this. But I don't know, I, I would have to think if there was better moves, um, hard to say. Uh, but yeah, this is not great, you are attacking with the Seers. I'm not super excited. Uh, I'm not sure what was about that Perplexing Tempest. Um, hmm. I don't know what, what he's achieving with that. The Sentinel not attacking you, but you don't care you guys, you have to choose the Seers. I don't know about that. Maybe the steward getting there, but it still can. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. What was the reason? Maybe I'm missing the reason. I'm not saying that it was wrong. I'm just saying, I mean, the, the situation is get, this board is getting very complicated. So I'm not sure. And I want to make a quick video. So yeah. What coming in? That's going to be very harsh. Oh. Uh, Oh, this, this, this is rough. This is rough. You know, you have, you kind of trapped yourself. And you still can get out because you have mind capture, but, but taking down rat, it's going to be hard. Uh, and you, you have no way to bring, like, like do good damage, right? Because uh, you can only bring probably the sewer here and maybe an archer to come here and then just attack rat. So you, you can get out of this situation. Uh, but suddenly the board got very different. Uh, Ava managed to clock Takulu, and yeah, this is one of the reasons I didn't like the gate match. I don't say it will go better with other play, but um, at this point you you will have. I mean, Ava, if Ava wants at this point to make it like, grind you, you, he's going to do it, right? So I think you can win the grind. I think you can, uh, but uh, because Ava can no longer give Steve worthy. But the Sentinels are going to hurt anyway. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, just, uh, I think my play will be to just try to bring a Deceiver here and try to shoot here with, uh, with an Archer. And Oh, you have this you have this line here on the left. I missed. Um, so you can bring units to help. But I think the board is too complicated for me to try to find a, a play. I mean, it will take me like two or three minutes. Um. Yeah, he, he wants to take uh, um Oh, he mind witch cup is strong. I forgot you can do that. Uh, you, 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 the strong also helps mind witch, which is mind witch is always uh, amazing in every matchup. I'm just saying you should try to summon a mind witch. So yeah, he, yeah, I will. I don't know if I will try to capture, but he's trying to get rid of this. I, I'm not sure why the white archer is here. Probably to cover this spot, but I don't think that was necessary. Hmm. Anyway. So Takulu is going for the 3 and 3 and capture, of course. Oh, and the archer wants to, okay, to kill the sentinel. I guess that's fine. I guess that makes sense. I don't know what that gathering song, because you only have one spot there. So sentinel goes for grad, and now you're going to clean clean, which is why, why I prefer the deceiver here, even if you don't, you don't do so much damage. I mean, 
if you go for for the um, how to say it if you go, try to go melee with Takulu in general make experience you don't go do well for obvious reasons so you need the sievers there to make the difference um So one mesh unlucky. So I think you capture here or not? Well, it doesn't matter because it misses. Very unlucky. I mean, there was one on five. That's not what you want to see. Uh, I think that, that that that's quite brutal. In the sense that um, I mean, this was a, a kind of close game despite everything you see. Uh, and there are many reasons it's close because despite you see all these units and the magic is. Uh, there's a lot of magic to 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 farm for Takulu and capture, and I think Takulu can really bring. Uh, I mean, having a f almost full life summoner is a lot, so I think he can green uh, up. But if he's going to be so unlucky with it, like this cyber was so unlucky, suddenly a close game can get out of hand, uh, out of your hands. And I think that's what's happening here. I think Ava is correctly trying to apply a lot of pressure and forcing uh, breakers to play melee, which is what you want. Yeah, we'll see. But it's very hard to corner uh, Takulu into that because uh, the main capture is one of the strengths. Uh, main capture is not really a super game warping ability like other summoners, but main capture has a lot of. And one of the strengths is that you can just kind of corner Takulu because you can always turn around. The units are trying to attack her so yeah it's very very hard to put a lot of pressure on takulu that's one of the reasons it's one of the hardest uh, summoners to assassinate in the game and maybe the hardest if you if you ask me it's really very hard to ta assassinate takulu um just not even bothering uh, attacking uh takulu just trying to and yeah because now he gained uh, yeah this spot so yeah this is pre pretty pretty bad uh, you have a one man control i think it's going to be important as a point oh that die or just the exact thing you wanted um <laughs> yeah, Takulu. Any other summer in this position would be like, uh, I'm dead. But Takulu can kind of get out of this. Uh, let's see what happens. Mind control for Takulu. I think he decided it was the right moment. And uh, maybe it was. Can do a lot of. Just kill. Uh, try to get the steward. It failed. Yeah. But now Condor comes back and you need to kind of deal with the situation. Just one damage. This is a funny game, definitely. Yeah, at this point, uh, Takulu is planning to just... Wallark is going to be my last card. Uh -oh. It's not, not... not Nothing interesting happening strategically, I will say, at this point. I think this is mostly tactical things, uh, which I, I don't think it's that fun to comment, or lost. I don't have that much fun to comment. Here I all his power in Guadalc. I don't know if that's the best, but uh, probably Guadalc plus um, trying to capture units. Uh, sadly, he has been not been like lucky enough with, with the roster. Uh, at this point, I don't know what to do. I think I will try. I think uh, it might be a point where I might try to do nothing to kill for and go for the four four shot. Because this is looking very bad. I think this point, I think winning the game is going to be very, very hard unless you get very lucky. And I think that 4-on-4 four on, four on, uh, on Guildford might be your path to, to survive this game. That, that's what I will do. But um, it's reasonable if you don't, if you think you can win in any other way. And yeah, let's see on the side to just... Hey, I, I can grant this. 
Good shot to work guild for. Two and two and glad arc. And three on three, that's not the dice Massimo needs. And of course now he's going to go try to capture. He needs now to roll very well to win, but he can win if he rolls well enough. And now Diver needs to kill something. Kill, kill something or it's going to be... Ah, oh, that's awful. He needed to kill that. I mean, just at this point you need to, to roll the, at least average. At least. And maybe a little of average. And that's not... If he's 3-3 three, three here, yeah. It's that total of luck. I mean, at this point it was a little like who rolls better. I mean, or, or just Massimo running him to roll a little above the average, and well, you see for yourself, the worst things are happening. Um, I, th I think Massimo at this point is playing a little too safe. Uh, I would try to capture a Sage with real life, uh, but I don't know. No, no, Takulu has no... But see, this was where... Well, uh, uh, Allah has probably champion coming. But, uh, I mean, it wasn't that far, right? Takulu can just... It was 3 for 3 Nothing good happened from Asimo in this matchup. And Syro comes in and finally gets seals the game. This is game over at this point. I mean, you can't turn this around. Um, there were chances. Um, there were some... I mean, it was a little closer than it looked, in a way. But uh, in the end, uh, some bad rolls define a game that was very close. And Massimo, every time it was like on the edge, Massimo rolled a little worse than he needed to. Uh, Ava, after having to retreat, I think played this very well, just pushing and just making this melee. And despite that, uh, Tagulu is very strong in many situations uh, at summer, but still uh, wasn't enough because the rolls didn't go along with it. Um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy my commentary there.